For so many years, Greens have been fighting against the factory farming model, which is dependent on pumping animals full of antibiotics just to keep disease at bay, and just so that they can continue to keep animals in poor and really squalid conditions. The systematic use of antibiotics in animal farming is also one of the main causes of antimicrobial resistance in humans. This is a growing threat, which is killing 25,000 people in the EU each year. So I'm really delighted to let you know that the EU has agreed on two vital pieces of legislation, one on veterinary medicinal products and another one on medicated feed. Between them, they significantly tighten the rules on the use of antibiotics in farming. This means that no farmer will be able to give their animals antibiotics as a preventative measure if there is no sign of disease. Also in future, antibiotics will only be able to be given to a group of animals when they have been examined by a qualified vet and show clear signs of disease. And we've put some of the most important last resort antibiotics on a special list so they can't be used for farm animals. This will change the face of factory farming in Europe and will mean that higher welfare standards and better husbandry practices will take priority over cutting costs. We should be careful though, because if the UK leaves the EU, a US-UK trade deal could jeopardise these important gains. We've already heard Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross identify this sort of control of antibiotics as a key hindrance to transatlantic trade. We must commit to protecting our citizens from hormone-filled and antibiotic-filled meat coming across the Atlantic, and we must make sure there is no backsliding on these important regulations by the British government. But first of all, let's celebrate this important victory for animal welfare and human health.